So what is the best way to promote the growth of your broiler chickens? You want me to show you? Come with me. So I probably made more broiler growth promoter videos than anyone on the internet. Uh, would that be me flattering myself? Well, I leave that for you to judge. Okay, so if you ask people what exactly makes broilers grow real good, uh, most of them will say feed, yeah, choosing a good feed or using broiler growth promoters. Ah, but they would have been right if they were not so wrong. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what makes broilers grow or any chicken for that matter. What makes them grow real fast? And uh, before I go to that, this is the place I'm currently preparing to raise uh, pullets, that's layers from deal to maturity, and to show you exactly what their production can be like. I took out the noilers here, and these are the few left. Yeah, I just have about six of them. And these are the hex that I picked today. I'm about to take them in after this video. All right, so let me take you into my emergency brooding room. Where I'm going to show you something real good. And if you don't want to miss out on the educative series that will be teaching you how to raise layers from day old to maturity, you want to hit that subscribe button if you're here to subscribe to the channel. And also, if you think you are enjoying the content already, you can hit the like button. Also, say hello to my cute puppies. This is Harlan. Harlan, say hello. And this is Shelly. Yeah. You can see they are in Shelly's kennel. All right, we're about to enter now, but I've been keeping this wonderful mix for a while and everything is gonna make sense in a moment. And just by moving from outside to this space, it already feels warmer because the temperature outside is so cold and it's currently drizzling outside, but in here it's warm, yeah. All because this is an enclosed area and I have a lantern, yeah. I had to get that emergency lantern for a purpose, yeah, to prove a point actually. So I have a lantern in here in the Abruda and I'm just gonna show you everything right now. I think it's time to get behind the camera. Right, so here in my emergency brooder, I have uh, about 51 noilers. Yes, 51 noilers, no mortality. Yet uh, we have 15 foreign turkeys, the, the Nicholas turkeys. You can see one over there. Yeah, so the Nicholas turkeys, and we have about two dozens that's 24 broilers. Yeah, those broilers are actually for my dogs, yeah. I'm actually raising them to cater for the protein needs of the dogs. Okay, but I'm going somewhere. We're talking about what's the best way to promote their growth, yeah. And I've tried to address the fact that some say it is feed, others say it is broiler growth promoter. And I say they would have been right if they were not so wrong. Okay, yeah, while feed is important and the growth promoter is important, if you focus so much on them, you might just be wasting your resources. You might just end up spending more than necessary. Oh, I think their water is out, but I think that is just happening right now. It's still very fresh. I can see traces of water still left there. And that's one of the reasons why it's important to be available. All right, so I just didn't want to load it with so much water that they would not even be able to finish. So I'm going to load it back with some water right away. All right, so uh, I could not just agree to the fact that feed is the most important because even though it will do the magic in some cases, but then I've had people who watch my videos and they are like, yeah, well, I've tried to mirror your practice. I've tried to use the same feed. I've tried to use the same vaccination program the medication program and all that but i still don't quite get to that weight that you get you know i get 2.4 and above kg in just 35 days as five weeks and a lot of people say i get 1.8 even when i use the same feed as yours so that means there has to be something that is missing and that is exactly what I would consider the most important. While feed is important and the group promoters, of course, that I talk about, like the one I have here is actually the pineapple, fish, and molasses mix. I'll leave a link to the video right here in case you have not seen it. So this is a magical solution. If you get this, your birds are gonna be growing real good. But then I think what I'm about to tell you is just going to make that real good excellent. So just before I mention this, most important factor as far as i'm concerned when we talk about growth uh, before i go to that this is actually my wood shavings 
and I still have some bags loaded with wood shavings uh, here waiting for the time where I'll be bringing in the pullet. So once again, if you don't want to miss out on that series, you want to subscribe to the channel. This is DIY Agri Kionobo Anonymous Scientist and your poultry success partner. Okay, so what I consider the most important factor is what some would call being available some will call it the comfort zone experience others will call it being proactive and essentially i think it's just management i think it all has to come under that big umbrella called management and is what i mean these birds are actually two batches the turkeys and uh, the two dozens of broilers came in just yesterday and the others have been here since uh tuesday and today is friday all right so when they came i had the feed available i had the water available and i just placed the lantern in the other hand i didn't want it to get mixed up i wanted to use the lantern to like prove a point so i had the feed on this side i had the water in the middle i had the lantern on the other end and i noticed something they were feeling cold because the weather was extreme outside it was early in the morning that i brought them in so the weather was cold and they were all going around the lantern trying to get some warmth so if I had just given them the feed and the water, and because I believe I've covered this uh, kind of brooding box, I believe they should be fine. They might be coping, like I said in one of my videos, they might be coping, but that would not give you the best result. So they needed warmth and they left the feed, they left the water, they went straight to the lantern. That means that if you don't know what they need part time, you don't understand their requirement in terms of temperature, and you just leave them to live their life with the feed and the water, they will not be giving you the kind of growth that you want. So they went to the lantern and they tried to warm up, and after a while, they then spread around and started to eat the feed. Okay, so that's one way to know that feed is not the most important in the life of the chicks. They actually want to be comfortable. And if you can provide them with that comfort, you're going to be getting excellent results. Another thing that somebody who is an available farmer uh, would do is to be proactive. One of the turkeys actually got stuck in the kind of netting that I use. Even though it's a small wire mesh, the leg still got stuck. And in order to avoid that, you need to get something like this so with something like this the diameter is actually about one centimeter and it is appropriate yeah none of them will get stuck and that is what they have there now so you have to be available you have to be proactive the management aspect has to be uptight their water should not go out as this one is out now i need to quickly refill it imagine that i've gone to work and i'm not going to be available until like six in the evening when they must have been out of water for about three to four hours that's going to be detrimental regardless of the kind of feed that i get even if i get the most expensive feed even if i use all the group promoters in the world and they run out of water for three hours that is going to bounce back and eat part of your profit you know so another thing that you would want to do in terms of management is to provide them with lights especially in the first few days of their life so i got this solar pack and um, that's where this light comes from so it's been shining and shining and you know i have uh, like two batteries that i'm using for this so the other one is currently charging and i brought this out just um, some moments um, ago so they have access to light they can eat with this 24 7 and that's one of the ways to go about it you want to ensure that you are giving them all that they want at every point in time so that's what i consider the most important it's not the feed of course the feed is important but if you're giving the feed and they run out of water and they are not able to digest the feed properly and most of the feed is just wasted you know you're not going to be getting value for your money so essentially what's at the back of the whole thing is still management also in terms of being available if you have raised turkeys before they will turkeys to maturity you would understand and agree with me that it's more like these creatures called poles that's the young turkey are on a mission to commit suicide yeah 
they try to behave dull and that's one of the reasons why we raise them together with either broilers or noilers or cockerels whatever the case may be and in this case they have both broilers and noilers around them but they are often dull they like to sleep a lot so especially the first day bringing them in you have to like agitate them as much as possible you have to ensure that they drink water that they start to eat and get energy because if they stay cold if they stay hibernating for a long time they'll get dehydrated and they will just pass out so it's important that you actually nurture these ones carefully and you know you just have to be available for them in the first few days of their life so you can see why it's all about management and this is me sweating after a visit to the brooding house if this does not happen then it's not a brooding house and according to the scripture that says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and in all that getting get understanding so i would say management that is being proactive providing the comfort zone being available all this management is the principal thing therefore get management and in all that getting get good feed and get broiler growth promoters especially the natural ones and to that effect i'll be recommending two videos for you that you must watch after this one these two videos will transform the way you've been doing your broiler farming for the better and that's exactly why i'm recommending them to you don't forget this is your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so i'll see you in those videos all right bye bye